What's up dudes, Chooch, back with another video, and today we're going to be getting into this right here. We're going to be doing a quick DIY mud guard you can make out of any type of tin, you know, like a popcorn tin, um, you know, any type of just tin you have laying around the house. For example, so this was a little tin I had, a little chocolate tin, and I ended up making three mud guards out of this uh, for all my M Supers, and I'm going to show you all how to do it real quick, so let's check it out. Try to get two out of it and see if I can fit them to the other wheels. So let's cut this and see see if it works. You can see you could really cut these and make them look a lot better if you wanted to, but I really don't care about the aesthetics of my wheel too much. I really care about you know the uh, function of it. That's why I put all the padding on it and whatnot. So when I do crash, it's not going to tear it up. Um, I go excessive with it. I want my mud flaps to be good. I want them to be bendy so they're not going to break or anything like that. And in the past, I have used you know like a Starbucks cup, something simple. So if it does tear up, you can really replace it easy. And I still suggest that if you want something simple, you can throw in there quick for a ride if you're going out. You know, Starbucks cup, throw that on the back works, works perfect but um, I'm gonna do this for all my wheels just to make them uh, you know look a little bit better than the Starbucks cup because it starts coming off over time with especially with the snow I was I'm trying to go quick just because I'm running a Dremel tool late at night and I got neighbors so I wouldn't try to be precise with it you know what they probably wonder what the hell I'm doing in here dude with the full shot man I'm about to get honestly I might may as well step it up and just make a quarter in here. I need to get like a full corner, literally lay down with like tin like this, like a full corner of the room so I can have like a plasma a plasma cutter and a welding machine in the house. So that's gonna be next. If you live in cold, cold dude, imagine how cool that would be. Like be able to weld and just be able to like grab your coffee in the living room and come over here to the dining room. Dude, it's like, that's how you gotta use your house. That's the right way, man. We need stickers. We need reflective stickers for the back. All right, boom. So these are all, these are reflective stickers. I got these from Harbor Freight Tools. And uh, this, these are actually just cut in half. These came in like a longer strip, but these are kind of what I had left over. And this is perfect. So we, we'll throw these on the back and make these kind of look the best we can before we make these into mud guards. All right, so we got our two mud guards made right here. And Let's go see how they work. Check it out. This is how I attach these things to the back right here. So I get these uh, little self-tapping screws. These are small. You can probably get these from, um, you know, from anywhere. But these are the ones that come. These are the ones that were using the shell of the old wheel in the M-Super V3S. So um, I had some extra of these laying around. And basically, we're just going to put two screws in this thing and screw it in. It doesn't even have to be like, I don't have to go for perfection. You can if you want to. She's biting. All right, she's in there. All right, that looks good to me. Heck yeah. Yeah, just do firm pressure till it grabs, then you're good to go. Hey, that looks good. That turned out perfect, dude. So you got a firm mud guard on there. Got some reflective tape. Looks pretty good. So that was easy. And uh, if you have some like old popcorn tins or anything laying around the house, it works a little bit better than the Starbucks cup. But if you need something on the fly, Starbucks cup still works pretty good for the back. It, it actually turned out really, really good. I mean, honestly, for like a quick little DIY mud guard, uh, you can't beat that. So, I mean, that's. That's pretty sick, guys. It turned out better than I thought. Heck yeah. This is my M Super V3S, and I'm doing a whole entire rebuild on this thing. This is going to be my snow machine over here, but you can see uh, I, this one turned out really good, this mud guard I made. So you can see I just made it out of a little chocolate tin right there, and it actually has like a lip on the bottom of it. You can see uh, the lip right there on the bottom, and that kind of curves down, so that'll really protect the snow from getting in there. But uh, anyways, dude, it's quite simple, you know, just get creative with it. And I think the tin is really easy to cut and form to what you need. You know, you can find these popcorn tins laying around wherever. But um, yes, yeah, so just a little idea I came up with and it works good. But we're going to make it work. That mud guard turned out really good, guys. So we had some snow cottages right here, you know, for the chocolate tin. And so I just went along with the theme, put a, a snow sticker on here and a Colorado sticker. Got the reflective strip right there. 
I mean, that's a pretty solid. And so if you need to undo, um, if you ever need to undo the shell to do a tire change, all you got to do is unscrew one screw and it'll re-tap probably into that same hole. You know, so no big deal. But anyways, I think it looks pretty good, you know? If you want to cut it and make it look a little bit nicer, you know, definitely do that. I was just kind of working late at night. I didn't want to be too loud, but the neighbors and all, you know? So I made some quick cuts with the Dremel tool. Got these bad boys on there. and Got that old Starbucks cup off of there. The Starbucks cup works good if you're in a pinch, you know, throw it on there for sure. But this is the way to go. A little tin right here I was going to actually throw away. Ended up making three mud guards for me. So, you know, just get creative and make some stuff. And, and I had some fun doing it. And, you know, learn some stuff along the way. But anyways, it's been Chooch. If y'all enjoyed the video, throw it a thumbs up. And I will see you in the next one. The links below, guys, take you straight to eWheels and eRides UK. So eWheels is where you're going to want to go for everybody in the USA and Canada. And it's extremely fast shipping. Extremely, extremely reliable customer service. Um, eWheels is the best and for everybody overseas and everywhere else other than the united states and canada go with e-rides uk they will get you set up the links below guys uh use the code chooch5 and you can get a discount from e-rides uk as well you can also get an instant $20 discount from Lazy Rolling. So all the jackets that I wear, they're Kevlar aligned and they're armored. So if you do go down, you know, you got some protection there. They're easy to throw on and I really swear by them. Use code CHOOCH at checkout for your $20 off. If y'all enjoyed the video, press that red subscribe button and I'll see y'all in the next one.